hello friends today we are going to discuss a again a mathematical problem that is csir june 2017 booklet code a part c and question number 118 and as per our knowledge i have again and again telling you that the part c carrying four marks and if we give any wrong answer in case of wrong answer 25 percent marks will deducted from our correct answer so negative marking give minus one so let's start today's problem and during this discussion first we want to read the problem and according to the problem uh, 180 number that it is a transduction related problem and the Firstly, we have to know what is transduction. Transduction is a process by which a foreign DNA is transduced into a cell by a virus. Suppose it is a bacteria cell and bacterial cell contain its own chromosome but outside a fudge virus or bacterial DNA a virus carrying a DNA is inserted into it and later in the second phase they have added their DNA into the viral DNA and this process is known as transduction and if we want to tell any and this kind of example we can say it is a bacteriophage we have all known about that that bacteriophage is some kind of virus that transfer DNA from one bacteria to another so now we did the problem they have given a problem transdux, transduction experiment using A plus B plus and C plus genotype and as a donor and A minus B minus C minus as the recipient they have given us the two types of genotype one is the donor donor always contain plus type of gene we have to remind this and they have also given it the better genotype also regarding as donor and the recipient carrying recipient carrying A minus B minus C minus all are inactive gene during the discussion of lac operon I have already told that the gene that is carrying plus sign is active gene producing functional protein and the gene carrying negative sign is the non-functional gene or inactive gene that produce non-functional protein they have given is it here again and as the recipient a plus transductants were selected and screened for BC as because they have selected A plus for calculating B and C as because A plus if we see the problem here they have given to shown here everywhere you can see A plus is present in every part you can see that A plus is present A plus is present everywhere so they have screened A plus for calculating the data of B and C and they want to know the code transduction frequency for A plus B plus and B plus C plus respectively and they have given four option as usual now we want to discuss about another term that is co-transduction what is co-transduction we have already discussed that this is transduction now we want to discuss about co-transduction this is the process by which two genetic markers are simultaneously packaged within a bacteriophage two genetic markers present within a bacteriophage and for transfer into the new host bacterium here we have seen that a virus came or bacteriophage if we uh, suppose we 
make it a bacteriophage uh, they carrying a virus they carrying a uh, dna and they transfer to a bacterial dna and this is called transduction but co-transduction process they are using two types of marker during this process two markers two markers are simultaneously two markers are simultaneously packaged two markers are simultaneously packaged within a bacteriophage bacteriophage for transfer new host bacterium for transfer new host bacterium nextly i want to give you another information that is very necessary in further uh, what is the relation between co-transduction what is the relation between co-transduction and distance between the gene what is the relation in between these two if we see that there are a relation that will help us to calculate later various types of problems i want to discuss it here the co-transduction is inversely proportional co-transduction is inversely proportional to the distance between the gene so we can easily say that if the co-transductional frequency is more the distance between gene is less and if the co-transductional frequency is less then the distance between the gene is more so we can easily say if it increases then it decreases and another way if it decreases it increases so uh, there are two form we have found that in one if it is big the distance between it is less or if it is low the distance between the gene is big so we have to remember it because there are various types of problems may come in the CSI and NET and they have given such type of problems I will discuss later and so I have discussed it here now we can um, now it is clear to all of us what is co-transduction and now I have to go further to discuss the problem the, they have given the three types of genotype I want to write it the genotype genotype and they have given the number of recombinants so if we see what kind of genotype they have given to us they have given four type of genotypes firstly they have given a positive I have already told that they given a data where all everywhere is a positive and B negative C negative B positive C negative B negative C positive and B positive and C positive and the number of recombinants they have given that is first is 573 second is 
98 third is 11 and lastly it is 68 now we have to calculate the code transduction frequency in between a plus and b plus if we see if we see a plus b plus are present in number 2 and number 4 where a plus and b plus present a plus and b plus are present so we can take we have to take these two so number 2 and number 4 if we add them we find that 98 plus 68 and total will be 168 so as per our formula the number of we have to write the code transduction formula but uh, just like we have not discussed about the distance between the gene but we have to take the total number if we want to discuss it the total number of recombinants is 750 now the we have to find the number of number of a plus b plus co-transformant or co-transductant transductant by the total number of transduction total number of transductant into 100 if we they as because they in the question they have given they want to know the percentage here they have given they have no want to know the percentage so we have to multiply with 100 now we can calculate it 166 divided by 750 into 100 so as per our discussion we have already if we cut these two 5 15 2 and if we find that that almost such kind of approximate we can say almost 22 percent we can easily say that the number of co-transduction co-transaction frequency for a plus and b plus will be the 22 percent later they have they want to know about the co-transduction frequency of b plus and c plus so we have to calculate where b plus and c plus is present we can find here b plus c plus is present in the number 4 as usual because all transduction are positive because it is a donor and that is the only one we can find that that the co-transactional frequency is where b plus and c plus otherwise everywhere they are known so we can now write again the formula the number of
so you have to calculate the number of B plus and C plus co-transactant divided by total number of transactant multiply by 100 so the 68 divided by 750 into 100 we can cut it eight point eight or something approximately we can tell it nine percent so we have got the co-transactional frequency frequency they have one to know between a plus b plus and B plus and C plus one is 22 percent and another is 9 percent so we now want to judge the answer 22 percent and 9 percent so the answer should be the number 2 this is the correct answer so I hope you will understand this kind of problem and I also explain the theory that answer is option number two so thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to click the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you very much